Hello. In this section, we are going to learn how to verify two all-important hypotheses in the statistical analysis. The hypothesis or the assumption of normality and the assumption of absence of outliers. In this lecture, we will see how to perform the Shapiro-Wilk normality test. Uh, the data frame I'm going to use is the same, demo, and I'm going to verify whether the variable income is normally distributed or not using the Shapiro-Wilk test. Uh, to that effect, I must run the Shapiro test function. This function is included in the stats package, which is loaded by default when you start R so you don't have to load it using the function require. The argument of this function, Shapiro test, is of course our variable income from the data frame demo. So it's very simple. Let's run the test. And here in the console we have the result. Uh, the, the value, sorry, of the Shapiro-Wilk test is 0.48. And this is the p-value, which is clearly lower than 0.05 or lower than 0.01. You know that if the p-value is higher than 5%, we accept the null hypothesis and say that the variable is normally distributed. And if the p-value is lower than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis and say that the variable is not normally distributed. Uh, since here the p-value is lower than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that the variable income is not normally distributed. So it's very straightforward. That's all for the Shapiro-Wilk normality test. Thank you.